Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a brand new episode of me rebuilding my RB25. In this episode, before I show everything, I just want to let you know that finally I have the stickers up for sale on Big Cartel. I'll have the link in the comment section, so make sure to check that out. Any order you make, they go out the next day. Alright, so in this episode I'm going to show you guys me continuing work on my RB25. I'm going to show you guys how to do the water pump, the thermostat and the thermostat housing. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to put the Tom A. Poncam camshafts in. I'll show you guys how to balance it correctly because if you don't put the camshafts in correctly, if you do one side too tight more than the other, you might end up cracking it and then when you start your car and go for a drive, you might end up snapping the camshaft and you do not want that happening. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to set your timing because when people do the timing wrong, what happens is if one timing's out, the piston comes up and the valve opens up too early, it'll end up hitting the top of the piston head and what that will do is because the piston head is so strong, the valve will actually bend and you do not want that happening because that means you have to take the head off again, get it resurfaced again, get a new head gasket, change the valves, you do not want to go through all that mess so make sure to get the timing all correct and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Alright guys, we're going to put the water pump on, so I'm going to show you guys how to put the seal around the water pump, how to torque spec the bolt down. So what we're going to do is, these are about 20 newton meters. These are about you know anywhere from 30 to 40 because these are bigger bolts. So you've got six here and then you've got four here to do. And then with the thermostat, make sure you sit it completely into its position. Because when I took my thermostat out, I found out that the bottom bit in there was bent. So that means it was just constantly letting coolant through. So definitely get a new thermostat. I stuck with the OEM one. You don't need a Nismo one. OEM is perfectly fine. <laughs> It's already looking so good with the water pump and the thermostat housing back on, it's finally getting there. And with the gasket maker, to tell you the truth, I may have put a little too much, but it is better to put a lot more than it is to put less. You can tell there that I put too much. So I just freshly painted this last night. Look how sick that looks, all nice and grey again, or silver, whatever you want to call it. Now with this, I'm going to go get the nuts and then the rest are all bolts. We're going to start from the middle and I'll tell you guys the torque spec as well with this as well. So you want to start from the middle, work your way out. Never do it from the ends or randomly because you're going to make sure it's a nice flat seal. You don't want any air leaks in the intake manifold of course, so make sure to torque spec that shit. So if you ever have memory issues like myself with bolts going back to where they belong, like different size bolts, it's always hard to remember which length goes where. So what I've done was, in June when I stripped this off, I took a picture of it, so that way I line it up like this and I exactly know where it goes. So when you feel confused about something, always take pictures of it because it will save you in the long run instead of like looking up on the internet. So what you wanna do is you're gonna need two torque wrenches. I've got a long one, this is a short one. The newton meters for the bolt is 13, 11 to 13 newton meters. Uh, fucking spider, look at that shit. Spider dangling from my arm, man. Look at that. Fucking Australia. Piss off. Look at that shit, man. Interrupted me. I was like, what is that? Put that guy. <laughs> Alright, let's put that down somewhere.
the, the newton meters for the nut is 11 to 13 newton meters and the bolts are 18 to 22 newton meters so what we're going to do is we're going to work our way from the middle i'm going to put the diagram right up here so follow in order one two three four work your way out you got it set to 21 newton meters you could have a beer as well let's get to it the worst with fucking socket gets stuck in the nut the fucker I'm gonna need another sip after that bullshit Whiskey down, down, <laughs> down. All right, so now that I've got the intake manifold bolted at the bottom, we're gonna put the injectors in so that way those holes are covered. Sticky tape the top part because we're still gonna work around the block. Then I'll put the top of the intake manifold back on, bolt everything back up, including the injectors, the fuel rail, everything, all the hoses underneath here. Make sure everything is done properly because the last thing I want is to put my motor back in and find out that one of these hoses is leaking. Because Man, I forgot to get oil to drop the hydraulic lifters in the oil. You gotta let the hydraulic lifters sit in the oil overnight. So I'm not gonna put them in raw metal back into there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go go pick up some oil, dump the hydraulic lifters in like a little container with the oil, let them sit there overnight, slot them in, put some lubricant on the camshafts. So with the exhaust manifolds, I'm not gonna show you guys me doing the whole lot. You guys pretty much know it's pretty basic. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm going to let the lifters sit in here overnight, come back tomorrow, finally put them in the head, put the Tom A. Pong cams on, finally start bolting everything up and finally drop the engine back Ma 33. So these are the Tom A. Pong cams I'm using, they're a 256 degree one, so this is your exhaust side, this is your intake side, so we're going to have them sitting like this. But I'm going to hand tight the cam gears onto these camshafts, the reason why I'm doing that is so that way I can have everything torque spec on the camshaft. And that way I can take the cam gears off the camshafts easily so that way I can access the o-rings so I can slide in the o-rings easier because there's a housing that goes on top I'll show you guys that all in a bit because there's too much to talk about so I'd rather show you guys what I'm talking about when I put these in so let's put these bad boys in and I'll explain everything then so I've just run into a really bullshit problem right now so see all the lifters they all went in perfectly fine Two and a half hours ago, I put them all in, and this one does not want to sit in there properly. It gets jammed, so when you sit it in there, it, it's stuck in there. So basically, if you were to put the camshaft on, and it will be jammed, and you don't want that happening. Turns out there's like a little dent groove in there, which is really pissing me off because it's slowing down the whole process. I could have had the camshafts on. I could have had this whole engine done by now, and these two and a half hours of wasting time on this stupid problem. I hate when you're building shit everything goes fine and like one little dumb thing can slow the whole process down so i'm just really pissed off i'm just it's just one of those things if you're building an engine and like one little thing like this happens it really sets you off so there's like a little groove in there i'm gonna try to get some sandpaper in there or like a little razor blade clean it out i don't know man i'm gonna i'm gonna have to work it out I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a groove in there and I've been using 180 grit, like some Chinese even says it there, sandpaper. What I'm doing is I'm just smoothing out the edge because I noticed it was sticking out a bit because I think it, it bent over the years. I fixed it, the sandpaper helps. So now I'm gonna put the camshafts in. I don't wanna to celebrate too much about this because it was an absolute headache. And I also forgot to mention, right? You wanna get assembly lube. So again, thank you, Penrite. Put a bit of assembly lube between the cap Put it in so that way it's all greased up so when you start your engine it's all nice and smooth all right so i didn't film putting the caps on it was just a lot of mess with that engine lube oh my god just went all over the floor look at all this shit. it's just it was so messy it was a nightmare but anyway got the cam gear on put the caps on to the cam shop so what i'm talking about right now is see how they're loose 
So what I'm going to do is put the camshafts in, put the caps on, don't do them completely tight, just do them hand tight for now. Put this cover on, the timing cover, so this mark here tells you the timing for the cam gear. And what we're going to do is now, we're going to go one by one. We're going to evenly tighten it down. Don't do one side tight first and the next. Evenly tighten it till it's all flush. Then we're going to get a torque wrench. Then we're going to torque spec it. Then do the same thing to the intake side. And what I meant is by having the caps loose, show you over here. See this dot? See this dot? Make sure that tooth is lined up to this line here because that's your exhaust timing. You don't want that out because that means you just ruined your build. If this is out and you get a start and it's all out of timing, that's gonna suck. So now that you've got it all tight and evenly, we're gonna go get the torque wrench and we're gonna torque spec these downs and I'll put the torque Newton meters number somewhere along the screen. Sorry, I'm really tired. I can't really speak English right now, so if I end up speaking gibberish, that's why. I'm just so wrecked, so I'm going to quickly talk spec these, do the other side. Finally done, and I'll show you guys what it looks like with the 6 boost manifold as well, because I mentioned that in the title. In the title too, see I can't speak English. I'm just going to continue this job. So what you want to do is set it to 12 Newton meters. So get a torque wrench that can go that low, so it's 12 Newton meters. Do not go past that, that is the limit. Start in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then you're done. I also forgot to mention and tell you guys that with the cam gear bolts, you don't want to do them completely down tight before you put them in because what you want to do is you want to put these in hand tight only because you're only using it right now just to set the timing and that's it. Then we're going to take these cam gears off by hand. Because if you were to, you know, say example, put this extremely tight and loosen it, this will actually move. So you want to have the timing set 100% correctly. Leave it like that. Put the seals in behind, so the camshaft seals. Then we'll put it again hand tight with the bolt. And the reason why is because if you go to tighten it, this will turn. So you don't want this to turn. What we're going to do is we'll put the timing belt, we'll put all the pulley shit here. Then we'll put the new timing belt on, put the harmonica balance on, hand tight the bottom bit. Then we'll fully tighten this to the torque specs. You know why? Because once the time belt is on and this moves, this moves as well. So it all stays in time. So you don't want any of this to be out of time. Oh, it's a Tim Tam. I fucking made it. That took so long doing the camshafts because of that stupid hydraulic lift that they got stuck and then I had to sit there sanding. You want to say hello? camera shy anyway you can tell i've been here for a while because the sun's starting to go down i'll film the six boost tomorrow morning i just want to have a vb lay down edit this video and tomorrow i'll put on the six boost manifold show you guys what it looks like talk about my intake manifold and then we'll end the video somewhere along those lines i'm really tired i'm gonna wrap it up right now and continue tomorrow how amazing does this look right now i've got the tom a fun cams on six boost manifold the reason why i haven't bolted the six boost manifold down is because once i put it in the car this has to come in and out and I don't want to wreck the gasket. So what's going to happen is we're going to mock this up. Then we're going to get a mate to custom make exhaust. We're going to do a dumb pipe with the screamer pipe from the external gate. Get a custom exhaust made as well. So it's a lot of fabrication. Then we're going to do some custom piping. The cooler piping, the exhaust piping. It's going to cost a little bit. It doesn't matter because it's going to be all worth it. We're going to aim for about 380 kilowatts, which is about 510 horsepower for the wheels. And that one, I don't want to go anything more because anything more just becomes just a straight line car. I can't wait to hear how this car sounds with the Tom A. Pong cams, the six boost manifold, the new turbo setup, the screen pipe. Oh man, thousands and thousands have gone into this, but you know what? It's all going to be worth it. And I can't wait to take this for a drive. I miss driving my R33. I'm pretty sure a lot of you subscribers that watch the channel from watching the R33 videos miss it too. So definitely, once this is back on the road, I'm going to take full advantage of it. I'm going to start driving more. I'm going to film more every time I go for drives because when I got my car last time tuned, I only made like eight videos and then my head gasket blew. So for the ones that don't know, I hydro dipped these about over a year ago. I did a very terrible job. I put like spray paint in a buck of water, hydro dipped these. They looked sick when I first did it. I must admit they looked amazing, but because the engine gets so hot, the paint just like worn off. So what I'm going to do is with these valve covers, 
I'm gonna sand them back and I'm gonna spray them black. We're gonna put some gold, um, not gold, we're gonna go with silver flakes now. I was originally meant to go gold, but because the theme is like kind of black and silver, we're gonna put some silver flakes over the black paint, clear coat over it, and it's gonna look sick. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for the love and support and all the supportive comments you guys leave in the comment sections, the messages you leave me on my Instagram. If you have any questions about your RB25, which I do get here and there about questions about Someone will say to me, oh, my RB25 is doing this, would you know what to do? Sometimes I help people out, sometimes I just can't because with RB25s, when one thing happens, you fix it, another thing will stuff up. It's just so annoying, so I'll do my best to help you guys out. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like and leave a comment down below. And if you want a sticker for your car or whatever you want to slap them on, make sure to hit the link down below. Thank you guys so much for making all this happen, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Catch you guys later.